Elon's on that stage, jumping around, skipping like a dipshit on these things. You know it. Think about it. Think about that. That guy. Tim Walls seems to be pretty fixated on Elon Musk lately, to the point where you could call it Elon obsession. Recently, he took things a step further, calling Elon gay, which, as you can imagine, stirred up quite a bit of backlash. We're going to show you that clip so you can see for yourself what's causing the reaction. But before that, let's go back to where this all started. This isn't the first time Tim Walds has made jabs at Musk. And for someone who talks about promoting joy and unity while avoiding name-calling, his recent comments seem a bit contradictory. Take a look at this clip. He is literally the richest man in the world, spending millions of dollars to help Donald Trump buy an election. Now look, they're saying the quiet parts out loud now, because Donald Trump has already promised that he would put Elon in charge of government regulations that oversee the businesses that Elon runs. That's a hell of a buy. He could spend billions to make more than $10 billion on the back end. Tim Walls has some strong opinions when it comes to Elon Musk and his influence, claiming that Musk is trying to buy Trump the election. But when you look at the numbers, it's interesting to note that Kamala Harris actually has even more billionaire support than Trump, with 83 backers compared to Trump's 52. Some of Harris's prominent supporters include Bill Gates, George Soros, and Jonathan Gray from Blackstone. Mark Cuban, who's also been vocal in his views, is on that list too, alongside Netflix co-founder Reed Hastings, who reportedly contributed $7 million, and LinkedIn co-founder Reed Hoffman. This group of influential backers certainly isn't small, and Walls' criticism of Musk didn't stop there. He kept up the critique. That's what union workers know. Look, they could, they could care less about union workers. They care about their billionaire friends like Elon Musk. Now look, there's a reason that I uh, called the guy in a good mes Midwestern insult the other day. Um, I said it because I had seen a clip, and all of you have seen it, where he and Donald Trump laughed about the idea of firing striking workers. Why negotiate with him? Just firing. That's how he thinks about you. He thinks your jobs are a joke. That's why I called him a dipshit, and I stand by it. I stand by it. He wants to make this guy the economy czar. Be clear. I mean, where, where Donald Trump's going, surrounding himself, as I said again, and I'll continue to say it, dipshits like Elon Musk and the people around him, people who have no interest. Tim Walls seems to be hitting the same points over and over, criticizing Elon Musk for being a billionaire, claiming Musk doesn't care about the average person, and calling for a fair share tax on the rich, though what that means exactly is left vague. Walls also suggests that Trump only wants Musk on his side because Trump is self-centered. However, these arguments don't seem to be landing with voters, given Musk's respected reputation and notable track record. Some are even speculating that if this election doesn't go his way, Tim Walls might end up as a recurring meme on social media. The latest clip causing a stir, where he controversially labels Musk as gay, is only adding fuel to the backlash. You're a billionaire, Elon Musk, for example, say, that guy, that guy got it. <laughs> Michigan knows that word. Look, look, that dude got attacked. Tim Walls has been making headlines with his repeated jabs at Elon Musk, criticizing him as a billionaire who supposedly doesn't care about regular people and calling for higher taxes on the rich. Walls even suggests that Trump's interest in Musk is purely self-serving. Yet, these attacks don't seem to be resonating, as Musk remains widely respected for his accomplishments. Now, Walls's latest comment, where he labels Musk as gay, is sparking major backlash and has gone viral. Could these repeated criticisms backfire on Walls? Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you enjoyed this, don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates.